Remember who you, you are. Uh -uh. There's no hashtags. You're right where you need to be at this very moment. I got something for you. And I never come empty handed. You're ready for this download. Check this out. Some people will have you think that just because you are conscious of your divinity, that you can say, be, and do anything you desire without consequence. That is an illusion. No one is above universal law. Yes, you can do anything you want, but there will be consequences if your actions violate divine law ma'at. You will always reap what you sow. This is why some of us are still here. We got lost in our desires for pleasure and became foolish without power. No entity is beyond cause and effect. No person is beyond the law of reciprocity. When we read certain stories and myths, they are teaching us a lesson about how not to behave. They are warning us about how not to give into fear, jealousy, greed, or the ego. So be wise and understand that even though you are a divine god or goddess, your actions and inactions will always have consequences in this world and in the next. If you claim you are divine, you must produce divine fruit as well. You must show and prove your claims of who you say you are or what you produce in your life and in the lives of others. The more you grow spiritually, the more you are a threat to outdated societal thought forms that fear their annihilation. Remember, thoughts are things. In fact, they have a consciousness and a will of their own. They want to continue to grow and thrive just as their organic carbon-based counterparts. However, negative thought forms such as fear, aggression, control, and hate must feed off the psychic energy of organic life in order to survive. In religious terms, they are called demons. This is why you go through so much strife when you become conscious and begin to grow spiritually. Entities feel threatened and seek to drain your life force and bring down your frequency. Peace.